Hey guys, the objective of this video is to um, discuss the differences between the method of joints and the method of sections, and also when to work out when to use the method of sections. So, to start off with, the method of sections basically just allows us to take a cut anywhere in a truss structure and to work out the axial forces um, from that cut. Uh, importantly, this means that we don't need to start at a support. So we don't need to use, um, we don't need to start at the support to work our way into the middle of a truss structure. So I'll just, we'll just go through a couple of examples where we look at um, whether we should use a method of joints or a method of sections. So the first one we have here, um, this is just a super, just, this is a super simple truss. Um, we've it, we're trying to find the members in red. Uh, for this question, it wouldn't matter whether or not you use a method of joints or a method of um, sections. So the method of section way, basically what we'd, be, what we'd be doing is we'd be taking a cut through the members that we're trying to find. So we'd take a cut through here and we'd work out the forces um, accordingly. Uh, that's it basically for this question, that's exactly the same as um, the method of joints. So that it's effectively what we're doing in a method of joint scenario because these two members are, um, are actually connected to this uh, point here. Uh, if we look at a more complicated example though, like we worked out in the previous question, uh, you can remember, if you can think back to the previous example, uh, remember we had to look when we were using the method 